Thanks so much for visiting the National Center for Science Education. NCSU's goal is simple. We want to make sure that every child gets a great science education. And that means keeping political and ideological interference out of their science classroom. When I talk about climate change with my students, my students look scared. They're students with pretty much the same resistance that I had to learning about evolution when I was first growing up. They see it as an attack on their religion. I have parents that have literally pulled their students out of my class because they don't want their kids learning about climate change. Those are the very kids that need to be in my class. Millions of U.S. students are not getting an accurate education about two critically important topics, evolution and climate change. About 60% of U.S. public high school biology teachers are hedging or equivocating or avoiding altogether the topic of evolution. When it comes to climate change, about 40 to 50% of teachers are teaching both sides, giving a mixed message to their students that the science of climate change is not settled. We are not going to shift the needle on the problem of human-caused climate change. We're not going to effectively deal with it if our kids are not receiving, in school, the best available scientific information about the reality and seriousness of human-caused climate change. NCSE helps to generate an environment in which solid, accurate teaching about evolution and climate science can happen. How do we make sure that every student gets an effective education about evolution and climate change? We have to work on three fronts. First, there are still dozens of direct attacks on how science is taught in the United States every year. Whenever that happens, NCSE gets busy, gets into that community, finds people who are outraged by that, and helps them push back on those kinds of challenges. Part two, those 50 to 60 percent of teachers, they need our help, they need our support. NCSE has recruited a group of master teachers who are already very skilled at teaching evolution and climate change, even in places where that can be really challenging. All of the lessons are designed for the students to dig into the evidence themselves rather than the teacher just telling them what to think. And then we're supporting those teachers as teacher ambassadors to go back to their communities and spread those lessons through their school systems. These teachers are talking to their colleagues, they're talking to their peers, and they're essentially saying, I can help you teach this hard topic better. You don't have to struggle through this on your own. You've got a friend. And third, we're finding as many ways as we can for graduate students and other science fans to bring science into communities in a way that allows people to engage with science in a way that's friendly, that's respectful, and that's inclusive. We work particularly in parts of the country where science activities are rare. We find graduate students who really want to do science outreach. They're really passionate about sharing their science with people. These are not people coming in from the outside and doing science activities. These are students who are part of the community. Our hope is that by giving people a chance to fall in love with science, they will be more likely to support their local teachers, to push back against efforts to interfere with science education. It's hard to think of a global challenge that our species faces that isn't scientific in nature. And every one of them is solvable, but only solvable by a scientifically literate and engaged public. And this is where the work of NCSE is so absolutely important.